Welcome to Gary's Hobby Studio, and in this video I'm going to go over Marvel's uh, Crisis Protocol Miniatures game. It's a game by Atomic Mass Games. It is really, it looks like a really fun game, and from what I've heard from people, it is a fun game. I'm going to go over the unboxing of it. We got ours a couple of weeks ago. I did have a video on it, but the audio was incredibly out of sync, and I couldn't fix it in DaVinci Resolve like my other video. So basically, I'm going to just redo it and just make it a lot easier. So let's get started. Okay, as you can see, here's the game. Uh, the artwork's really nice. It's got Red Skull, Dr. Octopus, Ultron. I can't remember these two guys because I never really saw them in any of the cartoons or anything like that. Uh, we have Captain Marvel, we have Iron Man, Black Widow, Spider-Man, and our buddy Captain America, which my wife loves. Uh, there is a very good story behind how I got this game. Uh, my wife did get it for me for Valentine's Day. Love her to death. And uh, I greatly appreciate her buying me this game. Let's go ahead and open her up and let's go through this through everything. Okay. So here are their character cards. We'll go over those. Uh, first thing we're going to go over is the Crisis Protocol book. Covers uh, learn to play missions. Goes over some of the components of what you need. Game overview. Shows a couple pictures of cards. And all in all, um, haven't really read the book yet. I'm going to soon. Just been busy with some other stuff. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks looks decent. And, uh, you know, the way it's laid out. There's the back of it. Has a quick reference guide. I'll probably see if I can download this, maybe print a few out. Has pictures on how to assemble everything from the cars to figures. Uh, Baron Zemo is the one with the sword. Ultron. Captain America. Crossbones was the other guy. I should have recognized that one, but that was my own. And Doc Op, Iron Man, Black Widow. Here are some of their tokens. I'm gonna say that's blood or bleed. Like I said again, I have to read the report. I wanna say these ones are for Captain Marvel because of the symbols. Or there. There's only two sheet of tokens. I think somebody makes actual acrylic ones for these, so I'm thinking about replacing the cardboards with those. I like pimping out my games like that, it makes them look better. And we'll go over some of these cards here in a moment. But here's one of the cars. It's part of it. The other part of it, parts are in here. Here's the wheels, the undercarriage, and a couple of other parts for both the cars. This looks like it's part of a building of some type. Here's some really cool bases. And it looks like some other pieces too. Again, can't wait to assemble these. Sorry if it's quiet and it's, all you're hearing is just the bases clinking. But yeah, these are different textured bases, probably for most of the small figures. And not sure which large ones would be for these, but um, you know, definitely the instructions will show me. And this one's about to fall off. Take it off before it does fall off. But yeah, I mean, these are going to be really fun to paint. Um, looks like you got four of, uh, or eight of the small bases, because they're identical, and then two of these large ones. And this is why until you're ready to paint them and assemble them, put them back in the bag. 
because if you don't put them back in the bag, you'll lose them. I know, I've done that. Uh, looks like some extra bags for stuff. And this, I want to say, is Red Skull and somebody else as a jacket. Because here's the Cosmic Cube, or Tesseract, depending upon which they want to use in the game. Here's his head, and it looks like you have, like, two, two hands that are holding it. It looks like it's one in left and right, so I guess you can decide which arm you want to put it in. Which would be pretty neat. Like I said, I can't wait to assemble this and... See how it looks and see how well I do. I haven't assembled anything like this in a very long time. Uh, this one is Carol Danvers, aka Captain Marvel. Because uh, there's her torso right there, and you can see the. I don't know how well this will focus or not, you know. Yeah, there we go, and you could probably see the symbol and because of my big hand but yeah definitely got to get a better cam for looking down looking at this ugly mug yeah uh this one's spider-man there's his web shooter there's his head and like i said because of the Camera and its bad focusing capability. Yeah, it goes in and out. Sorry. And Captain America. Which I'm sure my wife will want me to paint that one first. This pack. I don't know if the way I'm doing it's different than anybody else. You know, I'm... Just doing it my way, the way I feel comfortable with. Uh, again, no game is complete without a metric ton of dice. Um, I'm going to say, like, that's a critical hit, that's a hit. That could be death, I, I don't know. Let's see, what is in this pack? Uh, this looks like Black Widow because of the hairstyle, and it doesn't have that floppy thing that was going on. But yeah, that definitely looks like Black Widow right here. So that's her, Baron Zemo, there's the sword. I'm going to say this one's Crossbones, and this one is Iron Man. The arc reactor there in the chest. So in this bag is some scenery and it looks like a couple of figures. So we have I'm gonna say I'm going to say this is Ultron because of these pieces right here. Here is Dr. Octopus because there's the tentacles. And these are two dumpsters. Too bad these weren't two separate pieces, so that way you could open up the lids individually. And I always highly recommend, unless you're going to do them up really quick, don't take them off the screws till you're ready. That way you don't lose anything. I did that one time with a car model a long time ago. Oh my god. I was so mad at myself because I couldn't finish it because I couldn't find the part. Alright, so in this one is some more scenery.
These are traffic. That's a light. That's traffic lights. You get four of those. And you get Daily Bugle. That's what this building is. Trash can. Oh, wow, I didn't even see that. Yeah, nice. And there's the lid for it. I don't know. That's probably a barricade of some type. I don't know what that part is, but I'm sure it's used for something. There's those. Figure out how to stack this shit better. I have to figure out how to stack this stuff better because it's not fitting right when I put it away. Okay. So the cards. I think I put the cards in here. Okay. Basically, here is their character cards. Now, if you've played Imperial Assault or anything similar like that, these are tell you what the most damage that they can do and stuff like that. Um, there's a the strike. After this attack is resolved, this character gains one whatever this the symbol is. I'm not sure what it is because, like I said, I haven't played it yet. I'm hoping to play it soon. Uh, energy blast. After this attack is resolved, the character gains the same like starburst symbol, which is those one green ones that were in the tokens. Um, that I thought were Captain Marvel's, but they're not. And equal to the... I'm going to say that's damage because it's the three claw marks is dealt. Uh, Metallic Fury. By choosing a target, this character may choose whether this attack type is... It looks like a fist because the text is so small. Oh my god. You have all this space down here and you made that all small. Oh, I hate that. It looks like some kind of a pinwheel symbol. I'm not sure what it is. And this symbol looks like bleed. Uh, after this attack is resolved, the target character gains the bleed special condition. Analyze and annihilate. During the next attack, this character makes this character makes this turn. After the during the next attack, this character makes this turn. When resolving... Oh, man, I hate getting old. <laughs> I really do. Uh, whatever this symbol is. Resolves roll an additional die for each... Whatever this symbol is. I am so sorry, people, that I don't know what these symbols are. I, I truly do apologize. In the opposing defense roll... But, you know, this, this I even think is whenever he's damaged because it looks like, you know, he's all busted up. Yeah, this is his healthy side here. Let me flip all these over. Uh, yeah, pretty much the same except for I think like the numbers of chain. Maybe not. 4-0 for the first, 2 four, zero. Yeah, it doesn't look like any of these change. Makes no sense. Again, I have to read the rule book to try to figure this out. Um, that just doesn't make sense. But here's Baron Zemo's card. Uh, after this attack is resolved, this character gains. Well, to I mean, I'm truly sorry. See, I don't get the difference between the two sides, and I really don't. Because this one he's all busted up, and this one he's not. And the only difference is the color of the of certain ones change. But none of the stats change. To me, that doesn't make any sense. But I, I know it's a different game. It's just you would think that when you're damaged, you would lose capabilities, but it doesn't look like you lose anything. Which, again, have to read the manual. RTFM. Read the freaking manual. 
Um, Black Widow. Jazz Strike, Pistol, Mixed Technique. Zemo has Sword Strike and Steel Rush. And Ultron has Strike, Energy Blast, and Metallic Fury. At least I'll give you what the names of their moves are in case you've never played it or seen it or anything. Um, and down here at the bottom, she has Counter Strike, Martial Artist, and Stealth. I'm, I'm assuming these are like also special abilities of some type. Then we have our man Captain America here. He has Strike, Shield Throw, and Shield Slam. Down here at the bottom, a day unlike any other, Affiliation Avengers, Bodyguard, and Vibranium Shield. Captain Marvel. She has Strike, Energy Blast, and Rocket Punch. Oh wow, she's like uh, Mazinger Z. Rocket Punch? Anyways, <laughs> trying to be funny. Um, she has Binary Form, Danvers Special, Energy Absorption, Flight Immunity, Poison. I guess she's immune to a poison. I'm assuming by reading this down here. Crossbones. He has Strike and Overpower, Haymaker, Inured to Pain. I don't think I'm pronouncing that first word right. I-N-U-R-E-D. Uh, aggressive. Dr. Octopus. He has Strike and Arm Lasers. Ox Clutches, Scientific Hubris, and Wall Crawler. Yeah, he does climb up walls. And we have Iron Man, Repulsor Blast, Homing Rockets. He has Repulsor Blast, Homing Rockets, Friday AI, Invincible Iron Man, and Flight. Which is nice, they actually went with the Friday AI instead of Jarvis uh, since the uh, event, you know, the uh, Age of Ultron movie where Jarvis becomes uh, Vision. So, okay, here we go. Johann Schmidt, a.k.a. the Red Skull. He has Strike, Cosmic Blast, Unleash the Cube, Master of Evil affiliation, Cosmic Cube, so they are going with the Cosmic Cube and not the uh, Tesseract or... The Infinity Stones. Uh, Master of the Cube and Hail Hydra. And we have our friendly wall crawler, Spider Man, who is also Peter Parker. He has Strike, Impact Webbing, Taser Webs, which is nice because that's from Homecoming. Uh, Webline, Webapult. Spider Sense, and he also has the Wall Crawler. So, all in all, not a bad mix of characters here, and I can't wait to buy some of the other ones. I want to buy Hulk, I want to buy uh, Venom, and just all of them, because they all look awesome. You should watch Atomic Mass Games. Uh, uh, Atomic Mass Transmissions, I think it's called, on YouTube. I'll try to see if I can post a link up above, if possible. I don't know if I can do it yet or not, but we'll see. Okay, so in here are the cards that you will use. Um, I want to say that these ones here that have setup and scoring, these are like your, your missions. Um... These are like special abilities, which is nice. They have Cap and Bucky on there attacking Ultron. Because uh, it has one-two punch, unaffiliated, which I'm assuming means that anybody could use it. Uh, reactive. When the active character targets an enemy character with an attack, and the target character is within... has a weird symbol, too. I'm going to say two spaces, until otherwise noted by reading the rulebook. Uh, of another allied character, those allied characters may spend one whatever that 
little star symbol is each to play this card. Add two dice to the attack roll, which is a nice card. Um, and there's like a patch up. Choose a non daze ally character. Another ally character within, I'm going to say, two spaces of the chosen character may spend up to five of those little stars to play this card. Remove the damage. That's the three scratch lines from the chosen character equal to the whatever spent to play this, uh, whatever that symbol is to play this card. Here's another one. Follow me. Ricochet Blast. Cosmic Invigoration. And that's for the other side because it has Cabal, which was on Red Skull's card. Eve Ho. So, like I said, you could just see that um, you know it has like different functions and stuff like that. I don't know how these cards play out, but because they have like you know Second Wind, Dark Rain, couple Cosmic Invigor. Oh, it has the name of them on the other side. You just don't know what they are. Like Ricochet Blast. It has a picture from like in uh, the Avengers where Tony fired his beam at. Cap shield, and he kind of directed it to hit the other guys. I like how they're tying things in. It's a, it's a nice, nice way they're doing it. Another dark rain, the age of Ultron, and these these cards give you a, like I said, give you extra abilities. I want to say. So that's those, and then here are the. I want to say these are will show you how to set up the scenarios because I think in these here it tells you uh, struggle for the cube continues uh, place five cosmic cube fragments assets as shown on map F which I want to say is this here so that's what these cards are they like They'll, they will like show you because this is map F. They'll show you where to place the fragments, and then I guess you have to compete to get them. And it tells you right here. It says scoring. Player scores one victory point for each fragment held by a character they control during the cleanup phase. Interact cosmic cube fragment. Pick up a cosmic cube fragment during the power phase. Each character suffers one of each. Cosmic Cube Fragments that hold characters gain whatever the star symbol is equal to the amount of, you know, flawed damage, I'm going to say. They suffered this way, so. But that's what these ones are. They, they show you, you know, like how to set up the board. And, uh, it's actually really cool. This is real easy. Although I think you probably have to make the terrain, which I know Sir Astro, which again, if I can, I'll post the link there. It's not up there. Uh, the two links to Atomic Mass Games uh, YouTube channel and his YouTube channel will be put in the description below if, if I cannot put it in the link up there. I hope I can. It just depends on how my account is because I'm still new at it. So I've only been doing it for two months. But, you know, here's... Uh, there's two cards. The back says Cabal, and the people for the Cabal faction is Red Skull, which would be leader, I'm assuming, because of the star. Baron Zemo, Ultron, Crossbones, Killmonger, Loki, God of Mischief, and Modok. And the thing is, they listed these ones, um, which are Killmonger, Loki, God of Mischief, and Modok. I know Modok is released because I've seen it um, when the core set came out or shortly after. But Killmonger and Loki were just released not too long ago. I think a couple of months ago, something like that. Because this game's been out for a little bit. And it's it's kind of unique that you have one, two, three, four that come in the co in the core set. And then they list these other ones that are not in the core set at all. And like I said at the time, before they were released... I'm sure these cards were out before they were even hit, so you had a preview of who was coming out. Now on the flip side, it has the Avengers side, and it's uh, Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man. Yeah, Captain America, Black Widow, Iron Man, 
Captain Marvel, Hulk, which was the same with Modoc. Um, he was released at around the time of the of the core set being released. Thor, Prince of Asgard, Black Panther, and Vision, which I know these were just released because Atomic Mass Games had a video where they were talking about them and starting to paint them. I don't think they went all the way through to the end, but I know they at least covered, like, here's what I'm going to do with it a little bit, and we're going to go over their cards and stuff like that. So it's, it's really neat that if you got these when they first come out, you got to see... Um, what some of them were going to come out with at some point. So that's actually really neat too. So that is all for this right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please hit the like and subscribe. And, you know, hit the bell icon. Make sure that you hit all. And until next time, have a good day.